Hello, and welcome back to Epileptic Disorders Roadmaps to EEGs. My name is Erfan Sheikh, and in this module, we will talk about normal variants. Normal variants are important to identify as overcalling these variants can lead to false diagnosis and overtreatment. Such normal variants include rhythmic mid-temporal theta of drowsiness, positive occipital sharp transients of sleep, small sharp spikes, and mu rhythm, to name a few. Similarly to previous modules, for each epoch, we will show in bipolar and in average referential montages. Posts are another important physiologic potential that becomes more apparent in deep drowsiness and persists during light sleep and deep sleep. It is most commonly found in adolescents and young adults. These potentials are found in about 50% to 80% of a healthy adult population. In this bipolar montage, you can see posts outlined in red and the O1 and O2 channels. Also note in this montage, K complexes outlined in the red square as well as sleep spindles starred, suggesting that this is stage two sleep. This is the same EEG shown in average montage, and clearly here you could see positive deflections on the EEG best appreciated in O1, O2 channels. They're positive, they're occipital, they're sharp, and they're current sleep, hence the name posts. Rhythmic mid-temporal theta of drowsiness is mostly seen during drowsiness and light sleep. It occurs in bursts or trains of rhythmic 5 to 7 hertz activity. Rhythmic mid-temporal theta of drowsiness is maximal in the mid-temporal leads T4 and T5 and may at times spread to the parasagittal regions or more posteriorly to the occipital temporal region. RMTD may be seen bilaterally or may be independent over the right or left side. Like most rhythmic variants, it is typically arc-shaped and is often notched. These notches may give the waves a somewhat sharply contoured appearance, which may be mistaken for sharp waves. RMTD may occur in runs that last for several seconds or even up to one minute or more. However, like most other normal variants, RMTD can be clearly distinguished from seizure activity because it is monomorphic and it does not evolve. In this bipolar montage, highlighted in red, you can see RMTD in the mid-temporal right T4 and T6 channels with higher amplitude. This is not to be confused with epileptiform discharges as they are monomorphic and monorhythmic. They do not significantly disrupt the background, and furthermore, this is not a seizure as it does not evolve. This is RMTD shown in the average montage, and you can see theta frequency oscillations in the right temporal regions that are not shaped, lasting several seconds, and monorhythmic and monomorphic activity, not to be confused with epileptiform discharges. Small sharp spikes, also known as benign epileptiform transients of sleep, are short in duration, less than 50 milliseconds, and low in amplitude, less than 50 microvolts. The shape is rather simple and consists of a mono or diphasic spike with a steep descending arm. An afterglowing slow wave is not prominent and usually is lower in amplitude than the spike component. The background activity at the region of the small sharp spike is not disrupted. These discharges are best seen in drowsiness and light sleep and are best displayed over the anterior and mid-temporal or ear electrodes. They are mainly seen in adults. Small sharp spikes are not thought to be related to any certain disease and are accepted as a variant of normal EEG activity. They are a very common EEG finding seen with up to 25% incidence in the normal population. This bipolar montage shows a small sharp spike in the seventh second of the page. The sensitivity of this EEG is at five microvolts per millimeter for better visualization of the small sharp spike. They are generally less than 50 microvolts in amplitude. In this epoch, the small sharp spike can be seen in the left frontal F7 and T3 region, outlined in the red circle. This is an average montage of the same patient showing small sharp spikes, which is best appreciated in the 7th second of the page, with maximal amplitude at F7 and T3 and short duration less than 50 milliseconds. They are maximal in the anterior and mid-temporal electrodes, and are seen in drowsiness and in light sleep. This patient is in stage two sleep, as noted from the sleep spindles in the second second of the page. Lambda waves are sharp transients occurring over the occipital regions of the head of wake patients during visual exploration. They are time locked to saccadic eye movements. Their amplitude varies, but is usually less than 50 microvolts. They are usually 
biphasic or triphasic, with the most prominent phase being positive. Their form can also be described as having a triangular or sawtooth shape. In this bipolar montage, in the O1 and O2 channels circled in red, you can see positive sawtooth-like oscillations consistent with lambda waves that occur in conjunction with eye movement artifact, representative of the patient scanning around the room. This is the same EEG shown in average montage, and you can see the downward deflecting positive spikes in the O1 and O2 channels. Note again the left frontal F7 eye movement artifact consistent with the patient scanning the room with his eyes. These waveforms are thought to be normal variants and not associated with any pathologic disturbance, neurological or psychological. And finally, to recap, lambda waves are differentiated from posts as lambda waves are seen during the awake state and posts are seen during the drowsiness and asleep states. Photic driving response consists of rhythmic activity elicited over the posterior regions of the head by intermittent photic stimulation frequencies of about 5 to 30 hertz. The term photic driving response is limited to activity time locked to the stimulus and of a frequency identically and harmonically related to the stimuli. The photic driving response is found over the posterior regions. Destructive or cortical lesions can cause a unilateral photic driving response, whereas irritative cortical lesions, such as those seen with an epileptic scar, can show an increase in photic driving on the side of the lesion. In this bipolar montage EEG, there was intermittent photic stimulation as noted by the 6 Hz and 9 Hz activity just below the EKG channel outlined by the red circle and red stars. You can see that with each photic stimuli, there is a corresponding photic driving response and noted best in the occipital leads. This patient had a robust symmetric photic driving response. This is the same EEG in average montage showing intermittent photic stimulation at 6 and 9 Hz frequency. And you can see a relatively symmetric photic driving response over the O1 and O2 channels that is time locked with each photic stimuli. This was reported as a normal, harmonic, and robust photic driving response. Wickets are archiform waveforms that are monophasic with surface negativity. They are noted in both awake and sleep EEGs, but best recognized during sleep. Wickets can occur as isolated spikes, or they may come in runs, and if they do occur in runs, the usual frequency is between 6 to 11 Hz. The amplitude of wickets may range between 60 to 200 microvolts and is maximally expressed over the temporal regions. Wickets are considered to be a normal variant. They can be distinguished between true epileptiform activity due to its lack of an aftergoing slow wave and the absence of distortion of background activities. When occurring in isolation, they are often misinterpreted as epileptiform spikes. However, due to the presence in other parts of the EEG, confirm its non-epileptiform variant. In this bipolar montage, you can see wicked spikes occurring at 6 to 7 Hz frequency outlined in the red circle without an aftergoing slow wave and without disruption of the background. This is an average EEG montage showing wicked spikes as outlined by the red circle occurring at 6 to 7 Hz frequency in temporal maximal monomorphic archaeoform waveforms. Note the lack of aftergoing slow wave which makes this a normal variant and not an epileptiform discharge. Mu rhythm is in frequency and amplitude related to the posterior alpha rhythm, however its topography is quite different. Mu rhythm is an important physiologic normal variant. Mu stands for motor. This rhythm is strongly related to functions of the motor cortex. The morphology of mu rhythm is sharp or spiky, negative, and with a rounded positive face. The amplitude of mu rhythm is comparable to that of the posterior alpha rhythm, i.e. less than 50 microvolts. Mu rhythm usually occurs in short stretches and in some persons can occur in long trains. The spatial distribution is essentially confined to the pre-central, post-central region. The C3 and C4 electrodes are most commonly involved. Occasionally, a vertex CZ maximum can also be noted. Mu rhythm is blocked by movements. These movements may be active, voluntary, passive, or reflexive. The mu blocking response is likely to be related to the conceptual design of the movement to be executed in the contralateral limb. Mere thoughts about performing movements and readiness to move block the mu rhythm. Mu rhythm is within the category of normal limits. In this bipolar montage EEG over the left central and right central regions, C3 and C4 max, you can appreciate archaeoform alpha frequency mu rhythm. 
This is a normal variant. This is the same EEG shown in average montage, and you can see clear alpha frequency sharply contoured mu rhythm in the C3 and C4 regions. A saganic rhythm, aka midline theta rhythm, is seen during wakefulness and drowsiness. Similar to RMTD, the midline theta rhythm is typically a 4 to 7 hertz arc shape or sinusoidal rhythm that may at times be notched or flat topped. The main difference in appearance from RMTD is the location, typically maximum over the CZ region, and the presence of saganic in the awake state. In this bipolar montage, you can see theta range frequency maximum over the midline chains, especially over the central midline CZ. This is the same EEG shown in average montage, and you can see a midline theta rhythm with maximal amplitude over the CZ region. This is thought to be a normal variant. To wrap up, in this module, we have talked about normal variants, posts, RMTD, small sharp spikes, lambda waves, photic driving, wicked spikes, mu rhythm, and saganic rhythm.